Previously on Moe's Rants. Start off with her in the lab, and they over here trying to come up with a vote. You know what I'm saying? They trying to vote on, hey, should we water down Dahlia a little bit, make it a little bit more affordable? And of course you want to, because who's going to buy this stuff? Who's going to buy this stuff? Now, she in the lab working her butt off. You know what I'm saying? We already got one. We already got one recipe ready. This is what we're doing. This is what we this is how we're gonna make it happen. Tommy's like, hey, let's bring that price down. Cause can't nobody afford that shit. And the chemist over here talking about, let me, let me get in on that. No, you're not getting in on that. You just a worker. What up, babe God? What up, babe God? You just a worker. You ain't got no vote. You ain't got no say so over this. Shut up. Get back to work. Now, the reason I said that she's fighting for that number one spot, what I want to show you guys, and I don't know if anybody was really like paying attention to it, but look at what Claudia, I mean, not Claudia, our girl Liliana is wearing. She got this on, and Liliana's ran around the whole city. This whole episode, she pulled a Tariq St. Patrick. No car, straight feet, everywhere she go with this little button-up thing that she got on. You know what I'm saying? So they, they in here whipping it. They ain't here whipping it. Her vote is up and out the window. <laughs> but she's in here talking about, oh, I got to go to work. I got to call my boss. Like, what? Yeah, call your boss. How much are Tommy and them paying you? You need to keep your button here and get to working. That's all you need to do. She talked about, I got to call my boss. Liliana hops on the phone talking about, oh, she ain't going to get in here. She can't come into work. This is her doctor. Um, why is the doctor calling the office? Now, I heard of bringing a doctor's note. I ain't never had a job like, hey, your doctor called and said that you weren't supposed to be here today. Who does that? And then, turn out, she over here trying to throw that thing, too. And we're going to go right into it. So the doctor, Dr. Liliana called and said, hey, Miss Williams can't come into work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She can't come into work. The, the job is just like, oh, okay, who is this? Oh, you just a doctor. You just calling up here. So if any of y'all called and said, hey, man, Mo wanted, he ain't going to come into work today. This is his doctor. Like, hey, that shit don't work like that. But she doing all of this. This nigga Tommy kidnapped you last episode, put a gun to your head, took you inside the lab, and made you work throughout the night. You talk about you want to leave because you got to go on a date, a third date at that. You want to go on this date. When niggas got guns on you and they trying to get you to, to, <laughs> to get these drugs in order. So she like, my, it was the third day. Liliana was like, oh, you was going to give him some too, huh? You was going to give him some. So Tommy's like, man, if she going to go on a date, you got to go with her ass. Like what? What? She didn't came over here. Look, we ain't forget. She ain't got no car. She went over to Claudia's spot. We're going to get back to that. They then she got to run all the way back to the lab just to sweating. We already know how Liliana gets down. Every time we see her, she in the streets rolling around on the ground, running around. She's talking about, I got to go on a date tonight. It's date number three. Tommy come in like, what the fuck y'all talk about? Oh, well, there's a... um. There's a signature trait with our drug. It lights up. Tommy said, get rid of that. Now, this chemist, again, Tommy has a gun. Tommy has you locked in a laboratory. There's no talking back. There's no, hey, let's do this. Hey, do whatever the hell Tommy says so you can get your ass released to go home. But she wants to go on this date, number three. Now, when they get outside, they said they're going to go on a date. And Liliana got to go with her. They get out here and we look at the whole outfit. So you mean to tell me that you couldn't take her to the house before the date? We're letting her go on a date. Let's let her go home and take a damn shower. They said, the hell with that. We don't trust you like that. You ain't going to the house. You about to change clothes with Liliana's funky ass right now and put her shit on. Like, there wasn't no deodorant upstairs. There wasn't no wash or anything. She just put on the clothes that Liliana sweated in all night. Liliana got this long ass hair. You know that black is about to have all this hair on it. That dude gonna be like, man, was you hanging around a dog or something? Why you got all this hair on here? You got this short blonde hair. You got all this long shit on here. Yeah. This don't smell like you. 
didn't take no kind of shower, just switched up the clothes. And this tells you how trifling she is. Liliana put on fresh clothes and gave you the clothes she was wearing for you to go on a date for her to come in cock block the whole time. Tommy said, how y'all do that? How y'all make y'all clothes fit? It's magic. No, it's nasty. That's what it is. It's fucking nasty. Look, you got this damn shirt on that Liliana's been smoking cigarettes on all goddamn day, walking around the city, hanging out with whores over at Claudia's house, and now she about to go to the date with you with a dude that, oh, we gonna get to the dude, too, because it ain't no way I'm paying for this shit. You bring your goddamn cousin, you and your cousin gonna have to pay for your own shit, because you smell like cigarettes. And show the sheet. If she got this scar on her face, man, sit her on the other side, because I don't want to look at that shit. You over here with this junkie of fucking Liliana over here sweating her ass off and you put her clothes on to go on a date? You wanted to go on this date that bad that you wanted to put on someone else's clothes? Now, it's one thing when we were younger, me and my brother, we shared clothes. We were younger. We didn't have it like that. Y'all know my backstory. My parents, they did all they could for all five of us. We didn't have it. But we share clothes. But let me tell you something. The only time I put a shirt on that my brother wore is if I came in from outside from playing and I needed a shirt just to go back outside, I may have put his shit on. But I'm not putting on a shirt that he done went to school, jogged down the block, came back, put that shit on. Look, I'm just on the live with y'all. I put on a fresh shirt whenever I get on here, even if I do recycle shirts. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to keep it real with you. I recycle shirts. I wash my shirts. People, we ain't rich over here. We wash the shirts and we wear them. We just said no lie, but she said, fuck that. This date is that important to me. They got me locked up in here, cooking up down. You're trying to make it a less affordable, I mean, yeah, more affordable product. I'm going to put on Liliana, the girl that's a little bit shorter than me, a little bit stankier than me. I'm going to put her shit on and go on a date with a nigga that I already went on a date with twice and ain't gave him no monkey. And on his third date, expect to get some, but now I ain't going to be able to get some because I smell like another girl. Even Tommy's like, that don't make sense. Why you put her in this? Why you put her in this? Ain't brush her teeth, ain't did nothing. All she did was take off that lab clothes because you know they can't leave. It's a time thing, uh, time to lay on the door. So Liliana's in there getting undressed, and she's like, she over here trying to make a concoction to spray on Liliana's clothes. Like this shit kind of, shit kind of stink. He like, oh man, fuck. Now you got to go to the club with this damn outfit on that. That ain't stylish at all. Look, they get out there. This man, I feel sorry for this brother. But let me tell y'all something. I know y'all like, Mo, you you just ruthless and rude. I tell you one thing. If I'm paying for a meal on the river, I don't know what the river walk or whatever the hell the river dinner is in Chicago. But I was wrong with the Palmer House. So I'm assuming that this is an expensive bill. My man came in a suit. My man came in a suit. Nice watch on. You know what I'm saying? He even got the hair lined up last week, but he's still kind of clean. You know what I'm saying? But this is the type of brother that don't worry about being fresh like that. He's more of a, I'm a social person. I go to work. I do my job. I fulfill my duties and my obligations. And now I took a young lady out that's a doctor, a chemist. I want to have a good time with her. But she shows up with this stinking ass outfit that someone else had, a dope dealer had on all day. And then she brings Scarface with her. I'm talking about this is my cousin from Miami. I would have said your cousin from Miami. On what side of the family is this your cousin on? Liliana talk about. Let me get a let me get the menu. I would have said, uh, with all due respect, how about you holler at me when you and your cousin is gone? I don't like her attitude. And I don't like looking at that scar. And why do you have her hair on your shirt? What y'all been doing before y'all came up here? This nigga looking over at her, like what? Smelling like cigarettes. You know that hair stank. And look, even he's looking like uh he looking at the waiter, like, hey, nigga. Whatever she ordered, separate tabs. It's me and the short hair girl. I don't know the cousin. Now he's sitting over here and Liliana talking about. It. No, she lying. We ain't cousins. We second cousins. I'm like, what? Look, he looking at Liliana like, are you serious? Who are you? You from Miami? You flew in and you decided that you about to just sit down and eat with us? It looks a little rough in Miami. Look at his face. He said, eh, "You from Miami?" When I watch TV, I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the mummies in Miami. You look like the mummy in Miami. What the fuck you doing in here? And why is your hair on her clothes? And they sitting here. And he just sitting here like a sucker. Fellas, if a girl ever brings her cousin to a dinner with you, call it off. Don't go through with it. Don't pay a damn dime. Tell her I'll see you when you are free. There is no reason for you to be babysitting your old ass cousin from Miami. 
your cousin from Miami, right? Let her sit her ass in that Miami house that you got. It ain't no reason she should be out here on no date with us. Look, even they looking at each other. And you can tell something ain't right. You're like, uh, y'all don't know each other? Like, y'all acting like y'all cousins. I know y'all ain't second cousins. So that means, all right, I'm assuming you got black parents. So if it's your second cousin, that means it's your, let's say your uncle's cousin. No, it'd be your parents' cousins would be your second cousin. Or it would be your cousin's cousin. I mean, cousin's kids would be your second cousin. So this ain't making this ain't making no sense. Please explain how you two are cousins and why are you up here in Chicago from Miami? I, I would like to know that before I spend any of my hard earned money. That's what I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know um, how exactly are y'all cousins? I want to see both of y'all lie. I want to ask you first. What's your uncle's name? If y'all second cousin, that means your parents. And her parents are they're, they're related. That means you you the cousin. Okay, let, let me who who's related here? I I, I want to hear from Miss Miami. Scarface. Let's hear it. Mummy in Miami. Let's hear it. Yeah, see, Miss Talkbox is the parents' cousin. But what I want to know is who's your parent? Which one of your parents is related to her parents? As a matter of fact, I know her parents' name. Go ahead. Tell me one of her parents' name, Miss Second Cousin. Miss Second Cousin. Yeah. Miami Mummy wouldn't. Have, hey, fellas, cancel these dates. I'm, <laughs> I'm not paying anything. <laughs> this is the third date. We agreed, and I got text messages to prove it, too. You said that third date, we going to go out, we going to have some fun. I'm going to finally get some. You didn't say we were doing the three thing. That might be too much for me. I ain't prepared for that. I thought it was just going to be one-on-one. We're going to use our way into this. You bringing your cousin? I don't like where this is going. I mean, I'm fine with it, but I wasn't ready for it tonight. If I would have known we were doing this, this, I guess we can call this a three-way thing. I wouldn't have wore the suit jacket. We wouldn't have came to something expensive. You know what I'm saying? We would have went to the little, little steak spot. We out here on the water, baby. Don't be bringing your second cousin to this shit. DeMarcus said, do I think Laura will hook up with Liliana? Mm, I don't know. Look at her. She's kind of looking at the scar, too. Like, ah. Uh, mm, mm, I, don't know. I, I don't know. I could, if they did hook up, I mean, what would it do for the story besides Tommy telling them, don't get involved with her? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Ms. Bradshaw says, Ciroc and Cheeks on that third day. That's what that mean, ladies, on the third day, Ciroc and Cheeks. <laughs> Ciroc and Cheeks. Ron said Liliana bad. I don't care what you're talking about. Oh, I didn't say Liliana wasn't bad. I'm saying if I'm showing up on a date with the chemist, I don't want no cousin from Miami that just popped up with nowhere to go. Because the first thing you thinking is, what your bum ass cousin doing with us? Why she got to come to dinner with us for? She ain't got nobody she can talk to. What is she out here bothering us for? I don't want to be involved or bothered by somebody on a date that I'm with somebody on my third date. Now, I didn't already tricked off money on that first date. Now, this man looks like he comes from a little bit of money. So this day here is about to run him up another two fifty three hundred dollars So that means this nigga didn't already spent almost $1,000. Let's just estimate it up to $300 a date. Date number three, he had $900, and he ain't got the pussy yet. And now you got to deal with this cousin over here acting a damn fool talking about waiter. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Yeah, Lauren wore, Lauren wore them clothes to the date. The clothes that Liliana's been running around in all damn day. Talking about hustling. That just shows you the respect level. Liliana, she had a fresh pair of clothes. She brought a fresh pair because she already knew her and Tommy were going to be out in the streets all day. One thing about Tommy, you know you work with Tommy, you're going to be in the streets all day. That's why Liliana was prepared. She had a spare pair of clothes. Now, 
the chemist over here, Dr. Williams, she was not prepared, not prepared at all. <laughs> you in the laboratory all day sweating. Liliana said, put this clothes on, girl. Put these clothes on. And now you're on a date ruining things. She was about to get this nigga the monkey. Even he looking like, man, what, what's going on here? They could have had me play this role. He had a minimum role, and they could have had me go on here. Now I'm like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, with all due respect, like, I know you just flew in from Miami. You know, you, could you could you sit at another table or something? This is more of a reservation for two. Like, I wasn't really expecting you to come and, you know, Ciroc and Cheeks. That's what they told me. Third day, Ciroc and Cheeks. Could you go somewhere else? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could... <laughs> Can I have some free time? You know what I'm saying? Let me see. To all my fellas in the chat, who's paying for this date? Are y'all paying for this if a girl shows up with her cousin and your girl is wearing the cousin's clothes? Let me know what y'all think. Let me get a, a three for a yes and a seven for a no. A three for a yes if you would pay for this date with the cousin, the second cousin from Miami, and a seven for no if you would not be paying for the mummy of Miami at your dinner on third date. <laughs> Everybody's saying seven. <laughs> exactly. And this dude looking like, uh, I need to do what? I'm not paying for that. Y'all gonna have to hop up out of here. Uh, waiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I gotta get on out of here, man. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm about to take this bandage off because it ain't doing shit for me, but just fucking moving around. Y'all just have to deal with the ugliness for the night. But yeah, that's all I had on the chemist, man, because her ass, she ain't. I'm not going on no date. I'm going to be in there working from sun up to sun down to try to figure out what exactly is going on. I'm going to get this done so I can go to the house. I'm not showing up with someone else's clothes. You know, if I if I showed up with somebody, I'm not even famous or nothing. But if I showed up to a date with somebody, they like, then they go mo hat on somebody else's shirt. Like, what? Yeah, you just showed up. He had hair all on it. He had the nigga beard hair was on the shirt. He showed up with that shit. Like, what? Not Mo. Yeah, that nigga really a bum in real life. He seemed cool on the internet, but that nigga a bum. And that's what he's thinking. He's thinking, man, she was nice. You know what I'm saying? I had a chemist, a doctor over here getting things approved by the FDA. But she didn't showed up with the mummy of Miami and this motherfucker talk about, let me get the, let me get that, let me get the... <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Savannah said, I hope the ball clothes weren't musty. It ain't no telling with Liliana. We see Liliana in the trenches. We seen how she was living before Tommy got her out the slum. And let's be real. Let's be real. She hasn't left. From the time that they kidnapped her and took her to the laboratory, who's been with the chemist? You remember the end of the episode? What did Tommy say? Go check on the chemist. She's taking too long. Yeah. The mummy of Miami was in the bathroom. So all day and all night, Liliana and her, they have been at the same spot in those clothes. Now, I don't care if you don't move around. That's like the people that say, I sit at the house all day. I don't need to take a shower. Yes, you do. You should shower every day. And you should not put on someone else's clothes after they've been wearing them things all day. But the chemist didn't give no damn. She thought it was the third day she was going to get some. But the mummy of Miami and Tommy had different plans. It ain't no way you can get around this dude. This dude is really upset. Like, damn. Everybody put a seven in the chat because they wouldn't pay for this shit. And I got to sit here. 
And look, she's looking at her like, girl, thank you. Thank you for this outfit. Chemist, I had high aspirations for you. High hopes, but you really let us all down. What up, Eric? What's going on? What's going on? Call me review says she crying. What you crying for? You don't tell me that you can smell. <laughs> don't tell me that you can smell the mummy of Miami through the TV. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Richard said plot twist Liliana becomes the new chemist and they become a dynamic duo. Uh I won't say they become a dynamic duo if 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 Liliana becomes a new chemist then we won't need we won't need her no more. And that's what Liliana was talking about. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Now we got uh what we call these girls? We got the mummy of Miami. We got the chemist and Claudia. Now they over here trying to whip some things up. They ain't doing nothing right now. All this is is busy work. All this is is busy work. You know what I'm saying? Acting like you know what you're doing. Because you hear Liliana, the mummy, talking about, girl, you cracked that thing. I couldn't even get close to it. Yeah, because you bought all your damn supplies from CVS. Of course you ain't going to be able to get in there. But they come in here and they almost get into it. The mummy over here. And look, she went straight from the date, put the lab coat on on top of the outfit and went right back to work. That means this is about this is going on 48 hours of funk in this outfit. 48 hours of funk. We got the first night with the kidnapping. This is about to be 24 hours and then they can't leave. Because Tommy ain't letting them leave. So we about to go on 48 hours of funk. And I ain't talk about the funk music. You know what I'm saying? The funk. The whole funk. And nothing but the funk. That's all you got in this damn outfit. That's all you getting in this outfit. We need to look up that outfit and see what it's called. It's probably called funk. Funk by Louie. And that shit gonna be $1,500. <laughs> funk they over here looking at this they got all these fumes coming off of this now this shit gonna be leaving the, well they probably got good ventilation in that lab but still the whole funk and nothing but the funk she went straight back to work went over there ate up all that nigga's money drank up all the drinks Got lit and then came back to work. This nigga didn't even get a hug when they left. Not me, though. Because this thing, as soon as I seen two people sitting down, I would have said, uh, is this an emergency? Why you got your cousin with you? <laughs> Why you got your cousin with you? Because it ain't got nothing to do with me. But they close, though. They very, very close to cracking this and getting this new formula together and you know what I'm saying? Putting out a cheaper version of Dahlia. Yeah, Yolanda. How, how Liliana got a whole new set of clean clothes and even think to fix her lips to say, wear my stanking clothes. What kind of shit? Liliana said, we going on a date. I'm going to be fresh. Your ass can wear this. Cause she had on, she was better off just wearing that sweater. That would have contained some of the funk, but instead she wanted to have the shirt that was unbuttoned a little bit, so that shit can all come through. Talking about where the clothes I didn't had on all day, and I'm gonna wear something fresh. Uh, where'd you get them fresh clothes from? Let me go get me a pair. We. <laughs> Ain't no way. Hey, man, I've been sweating this shit all day. Uh, I know you you want to go on this important date. You said it's the third date. And even Liliana said you was going to give him some. So you know that she's planning on giving this nigga some of that monkey. But you want to show up and give her the stinking clothes. He going to be in there trying to hit that thing from the back. Talk about, ooh, mm, I, I'm good. <laughs> you a chemist. You need to figure it, uh, <laughs> this out. Savannah said, would you go out with the two mo? Uh, nah, I'm very, very frugal. If I'm going out with somebody, it's just me and her going out. I don't do the go out and pay for the friends. Let me tell y'all something. 
fuck them friends. I ain't I ain't trying to fuck the friends. So I ain't paying nothing for the friends. If a girl ever come to a date with me and bring a friend, I hope that friend got money because I can afford what I'm eating. I can afford what the lady I'm with eating. I can't afford what you eating. I didn't wake up and check my bank account to say feed friends. My shit say Mo on the account. I changed the account name to Mo. That motherfucker say anything that Mo want, Mo can get. Anything that Mo wants to spend it on, Mo can spend it on. Mo don't spend it on friends. So no Mo would not be going on a date with two women at once. <laughs> now two women can come and hang out with Mo, but we ain't going out to eat. Oh no, not on the water. Not on the water, because in my head, I'm already budgeted. Like, okay, if it get a little expensive, them drinks going to be busting. We might be at about 200 250 Mo is good for that. <laughs> Mo and the lady I'm with is good for that 250 But Mo, the lady I'm with, and the friend? Shit. The motherfucker friend get over there. Let me get this champagne. Okay, you better be able to afford that champagne, because I'm going to look at it, and I ain't got no shame in my game. Uh, Two bills. Two bills. And if the woman I'm with start acting up, talk about, you're not going to pay for my friend? Three bills. <laughs> Three bills. I'll pay for my shit and get the fuck up out of here. Don't tell me how to spend my money. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Bradshaw said two for 20. That's it. Y'all got me over here talking about my dating life. It, hey, if we go for a two for 20, I don't mind it. We go for a two for 20. That means I got 80 to spend on drinks. What's happening? Two for 20 to eat, 80 on drink. That's an easy hundred for the night. And then the Uber on top of that. So we looking at about $150. Ooh, that sounds like a lovely night. <laughs> that sounds like a lovely night, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, pretty dog. Like, damn, and yeah, y'all want to know my game plan. Yeah, pretty dog. Like, if I went up to pretty dog, like, ooh, pretty dog, you got, ooh, you got a pretty dog face. I'm going to get you a drink. I see you got a friend. Okay, I'll get y'all a drink. If that's the case, that's if we had the bar. I could buy those drinks and dip off. But if we sitting down at the table and you just order and order, oh, shit, <laughs> you better be ordering and make sure your pocketbooks is good. Because I'm telling the waiter, uh, just so you know, that is a separate tab. <laughs> just so you know. Me and her is on the same bill. Anything her mouth touches, that one with the scar on it, <laughs> put that shit on her bill just to let you know. Just to let you know I ain't paying it. So if it look like I'm walking out, I told you up front. Hey, if I go into a restaurant, I don't care. I go and talk to the manager. I go tell the manager straight up, hey, look up real quick. At my table, I got her right there. Whatever she orders, that's on her. So you need to make that clear with her. Because I already told her I'm not paying for that. But yeah, if I'm out and about, I'm going to buy the friend a drink. You know what I'm saying? I got to buy the friend a drink to entertain. Because most of the time, the hating ass friend, because you know, I only go for the attractive ones. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not very picky, but I go for the attractive ones. You know, there's always the one that hate. You don't buy it. Eh, eh, she good. She don't want to talk to nobody. She was just talking to me, though. <laughs> Savannah said, I'm cheap, cheap, cheap. No, I'm not. I'm me, me, me. <laughs> I'm me, me, me. My checks, when my, when my checks come in on the first of the month, my retirement check come in, that motherfucker don't say them. That motherfucker say Mo. <laughs> Mo ain't cheap. Y'all cheap. I can afford what I do, just like we were talking about getting haircuts and getting your hair shit done. I got haircut money. I can get my haircut. <laughs> I ain't cheap. I just know I'm financially responsible. <laughs> Y'all can call it what you want. Asking for a friend said you ain't found her. Oh no, no. I I told y'all I'll take care of the woman I'm with. I don't take care of friends. That's not my job. That is not my job to take care of a friend. Now look, I go over here. Hey, asking for a friend. That's my dog. I'm retired too, 100% from the VA. Hey, salute to you, my sister. <sighs> Life is great, ain't it? But, yeah, I take care of my girl. I take care of the woman I'm with. Y'all, hey, hey, good day. I, hey, I manage my money to the penny. If I go back and show y'all what I did for my ex, y'all be like, damn, this nigga was on another level. So, hey, yeah, I handle all that. Y'all not gonna call me cheap. I'm just 
very aware of money. And I, <laughs> I'm not paying for, look, we almost at an hour. I'm about to get off of this shit. Look, I'm not paying for mummy of Miami to eat up all this food, eat up all this drink, and then let another nigga smash. No, I'm paying for the woman I'm with. If you want to get drunk and eat, eat what you can afford. Because I'm not paying for it for you to go to another nigga. Jimmy on a beat, boy.